statistically one of the hardest obstacles of Ninja Warrior, the vertical limit. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a portable version of this obstacle to help your training. Welcome back to the Ninja Life. I'm Darren Paris, and I'm here to help you overcome obstacles. On this channel, we provide you with training tips and ninja related product reviews. So if this sparks your interest, consider subscribing. The vertical limit was first introduced back in 2012 on Sasuke 28. This is a stage three obstacle and it's very difficult to overcome. We have yet to see this obstacle on American Ninja Warrior, but I've seen them at every ninja gym I've been to. And that's because this is such a good training tool for finger strength. He has strength for This is oh. Oh. Are you ready to add this training tool to your ninja rig? Let's get started. We'll need a measuring tape, a pencil, a saw, a clamp, a sander, some sandpaper, a drill, some drill bits, a hammer, a punch, and a screwdriver. As for our materials, we'll need a 2x6 with at least 16 inches. A quarter round molding at least 16 inches long. Two eye bolts. Wood screws and wood glue. I'll put a more detailed list of our materials down in the description, so be sure to check that out. I'll also add a timestamp so you can come back to this point of the video once you've gone out and bought all your materials. Now that we have everything we need, let's begin. Grab your 2x6 and cut 16 inches. Before assembly, sand all your cut pieces of lumber. Grab your molding and do the same. Personally, I lined up the molding to the 2x6 and used a hacksaw to get a nice clean cut. Put some wood glue, then align the molding to the bottom of the main body and clamp in place. I used some scrap pieces of 2x4 to help align the molding to the main body. And be sure to clamp it on each end. Measure to the middle of the obstacle, which should be 8 inches and drill your pilot hole in the center, which is 3 eighths of an inch. We want to countersink the screw to avoid injuring ourselves when training. And to achieve this without the special countersink drill bit, I'm simply going to use a bigger drill bit and drill just deep enough to accommodate the screw head. Now that the middle is set, remove one of the clamps and make your pilot hole one and a half inches inward from the end and centered at 3 eighths of an inch and countersink your screw just like before. Repeat steps for the other side. Don't forget to lightly sand around the three screws. As for your eye bolts, measure out three inches from each end and mark the center at three quarters of an inch. Make your pilot hole. And screw in the eye bolts. Congratulations, 
You just built your very own floating vertical limit. Training with this will be tough, but so, so worth it. Ninja talk. The vertical limit is crazy hard. So big ups to all of you that find this obstacle easy. I've mentioned before that this obstacle has never been on American Ninja Warrior. Do you think the vertical limit should make an appearance on American Ninja Warrior? And for my ninja athletes, have you come across the vertical limit in many competitions? I'd love to hear from you, so let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Make sure you don't miss out on any of my content by hitting that subscribe button and bell to enable all notifications. For more DIY obstacles, check out our How to Build Ninja Warrior Obstacles series. Or you can check out more Ninja Life content here. Keep training hard. I hope to see you in the course. And I'll catch you guys next time on The Ninja Life.